What's up, Squirrel fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today we have a special guest from the Pacific, Cesar Surabaya, Akim Ellis. How you doing, man? What's going on, bro? What's going on? Hey, thank you so oh, much, for man. Having me. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man, for taking your time from your busy schedule. How's the life, man? How's life in the bubble, man? Man, the bubble is crazy. It's not my fault. You know, I'm, I'm more adjusted to it this time. I had a bubble recently in Colombia. Mm-hmm. Um, but the bubble's not bad. You know what I'm saying? All the teams in here, um, you know what I'm saying? With my teammates, see, see a couple other faces, you know, it's different from being in your city away from everybody for about three weeks, you know, no basketball, no games was killing us for three weeks, but you know, it's, um, it's good to be back. It's good to be back for sure. Bubble food is okay. Yeah. Bubble food is cool. You know, we order, we get to order <laughs> of what, you know what I'm saying? What we like. So it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not too bad. So sometimes I get to, you know, get what I like, my pastas and my burgers and my salad. And stuff, okay. So it's not bad. Uh, that's not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, bro. Your team, Pacific, started the season one and six, and now you guys won four in a row. What do you think was the turning point, though? Uh, for me, the turning point was actually the three weeks that we had off. Mm-hmm. It allowed us to get to it allowed us to get to know each other better. Um, allowed us to become one with each other, become more team. Uh, and I think that did it for us. We just really locked in in those three weeks and we knew that we had a lot to accomplish. Um, we knew that we had the talent. We knew that we had um, the players to get it done. And, you know, we just had to pay attention to detail and just take things one day at a time. And that's what we did, like focused on our defense because that's really where the problems came from, focused on our rebounding. Um, so we just locked to those things and the coaches made sure that we locked into all those details for those three weeks. And, you know, the hard work is paying off. How much fun, though, are you guys having right now, you know, playing with each other, especially winning four in a row? How much are you enjoying yourself, though, with this team? Oh, I'm having a great time, man. I'm having a great time. They're all like my little brothers, you know, and they're all, like, really hungry. They want to win. Mm-hmm. Like, they want it badly. They just want to they wanna, they wanna work hard. They want to win. And we're having a great time. And it's like uh, I'm loving it right now because, um, as I t- tell them all the time, it's like a family we have here is a family atmosphere we're all together we're together all the time we laugh we joke um you know and we we all pick each other up we all have each other's back um day by day 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 in and day out so we're having a really good time right now i'm having fun with the guys i mean you and tyron uh working really well together as well you know it's it's hard i know it's hard to have just one player one import on the floor but Is there any like, you know, convo, any conversation with Tyron, you know, how to make everything work? Um, yeah, we just, um, we keep, we hold each other accountable, me and Ty. We hold each other accountable. Um, and we know that we have a job to do here. You know that we know that we came in here to be leaders. Um, we also know that we have to perform and um, mm. perform to the best of our ability um, any chance that we get on the floor. Because, you know, with the limited time and, you know, this is my mm-hmm. first time ever in my eight year pro career doing this half on half on, you know, limited minutes type of thing. Um, you know, you have to hold each other accountable and you just have to find your your role or your niche within the team um, to stay aggressive at all times. So, you know, we definitely have combos every day, um, every day throughout the day. We have combos just holding each other accountable and hold each other um, mentally ready mm-hmm. for the next for the next task at hand so we're always trying to be one step ahead so uh yeah we just keep each other prepared at all times was it harder for you to adjust to that thing because i know imports like to play heavy minutes right they like to play like 35 minutes you know keep their body warm and then now you have to sit down like probably like eight minutes seven minutes was it harder for you to adjust to that yeah it was a little hard for me to adjust to it you know especially Mm -hmm. for me i was coming from Colombia, where I was mm-hmm. playing about 36 minutes a game. Wow. So, you know, it, mm-hmm. it, it was hard to adjust and like, you know, you get on, you play for five, get on, get, get off for five or six. And, yeah. you know, you got to get your body back accustomed again. And, um, you know, so basketball is all about adjustments. You know, when I talk to some of my close friends that play overseas, they, mm-hmm. they let me know that basketball is all, all about adjustments. So, you know, you have to adjust everywhere you go. Every situation won't be the same. 
Mm -hmm. So you have to adjust in every situation, every area, every culture. So in here, you know, at first for me, it was a little bit difficult. And now I'm, it's starting to click. It's starting to click yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, finding your niche and finding your role within the team. And um, it's working for us right now. And I feel like you are and Ty, you and Ty adjusting really well to the local players. Can you just, can you guys, can you just describe like how is your relationship with the local players and how important it is to have a good relationship with the local players? Oh man, it's, it's very important. It's very important because if you don't, if you guys can't get along, then the chemistry on the court won't be good. The chemistry have to, has to be good on and off the court. Have to be able to talk about anything, have to be able to hang out if it even is just to get some food. So the relationship with our um, young players is very um, important to us. Cause that's that's how you win, and you know, saying that's how we're winning. I know them; they know me. They know where I like the ball. They know what I like. I know where they like the ball. I know what they like, and then we all just seem to find ourselves just playing together in this mix that we have going on. And you know, what I'm saying we allow it to work for us. And but that doesn't just start because we get on the court and we just go play. It starts from the footwork that we put in mm -hmm. beforehand, like the practicing just to going out, maybe saying to get some food and just chilling, just hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Going to where they live and just hanging out with them. It's just, it's all the footwork beforehand that leads to the, um, that leads to the teamwork that happens on the court. Does the local guys like uh, come to you and maybe Ty also, you know, to help them with their game? Yeah, they do. They do. They definitely reach out. And that's one thing I like about them. They're not afraid to ask questions and they want, like mm. I said, they want to learn. They come, they want to learn. They want to know certain things they want to do. They want to add different things to their game. And um, that's what me and Ty are here for is to help lead and help show them different different things that they can bring to the table mm -hmm. in many different ways. You know, some people, not everybody might be a super scorer, but you could be the hustle guy. You could be the defender. You could be the rebounder. You could bring something that's very valuable to this team in, at, at any given moment. So one thing that we always tell them is to always stay ready. No matter if you're not playing right now, no matter if you might get in two minutes, no matter if you might play eight minutes the next mm -hmm. day, and that, you, all your minutes to us and this team is very, very valuable. So you always have to stay ready. So they always come and ask questions and, um, you know, they want to just get better all the time. They, they want to they soak up all the information yeah. like, a, like a sponge. So I really, I really enjoy that about them. I feel like the young players on the Pacific team is really lucky, though, to have you and Sai to be their mentor to be their mentor because you guys are very welcoming. And of course, Yuda, uh, Yuda is playing well. And of course, uh, Calvin, Calvin and Gregorio are playing really well. How impressed are you though with the local players on your team? Man, I'm, I'm super <laughs> impressed. I'm super impressed. And especially with the, the leap that they've uh -huh. taken from the first and second series to now mm -hmm. is just amazing. But I think it comes with trust. I think that the trust that me and TC instill in them um, goes a long way and it makes them feel like they can do anything, you know, because we got your back. We're going to pick mm -hmm. you up if you fall down. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hype you up when you make a big shot. So that's what we're all about. We're just all about, you know what I'm saying? Like staying together. Um, and I'm very impressed with them, man. Like I just, I can't keep telling them enough how proud of them I am. You know what I'm saying? The work's not done. We still have more work to do. Um, we still got a lot of tough, tough games coming up, but just the amount of separation that they've taken in their games and um, their mentalities, is just, it's just amazing to see. Okay, now let's talk about Coach. Coach, <laughs> he's, a, you know, he's a fun guy. I know, I know him too. You know, he's a really cool guy. He can ball, you know, yeah, he can ball sure, a little bit. Sure. <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. When, even sometimes we play around in practice, you know, like I call him like the Steve Nash. Like, he's <laughs> yeah. like he likes to pass the fancy. Yeah, the pat the fancy passes, the Steve Nash, the Jason Kidd, like that's coach. That's coach for sure. That's yeah, coach man. for sure. Yeah, coach is good. It's a good point guard. So how's your how is your relationship though with coach and you know um how much fun and how much you are you are enjoying you know playing for coach uh Arias? I'm having a great time playing for him, man. I'm having a great time. He's a very um, understanding coach. Um, he listens. Um, he also wants to learn and get better at his craft. Uh -huh. So it's like, you know, we bounce, we bounce things back off of each other's ideas and situations. And, you know, it's good to have a coach that you'll be able to talk to because everybody mm -hmm. can learn at the same time. I can learn. He can learn. You know, my first mm -hmm. time, my first time 
um, playing in Indonesia, his second time coaching pro mm. for Pacific. So it's just, you know, we're all in that learning process, learning phase. So I have something that I can give to them. They have something that they can give to me. That's knowledge. And it's just like, we just continue to bounce um, it back off each other. So having a great time playing for him, um, great coach, man. And not, and not just coach, the whole coaching staff from, you know what I'm saying? Coach down to coach Dimas, coach Dickey, mm-hmm. um, Jimmy, um, everybody is just like, it's, they're amazing. They, you know what I'm saying? They help day in and day out. Um, they also want to learn. They also have knowledge that they like to give. So, and they want to win. They want to win. You can't, you you don't you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. they're all on the same page, so it's just like you know our our owners did a great job with you know what I'm saying picking an amazing coaching staff. So I'm mean, I'm really enjoying my time with Pacific um, so far. You've been killing it though with your shots, you know, in the la- in the last few games. Was it was it just timing? You know, you just you just need more time to adjust to the IBL game, or was it just re- re- your, you need to find your rhythm? It was my, it was, it was a little, little bit of both. I would say okay. it's 50, 50. I would, I would say that I, it was me adjusting to the IBL game, the IBL mm-hmm. speed. It was me adjusting to the way the game is being played now with, with it being one import, um, mm-hmm. you know, me adjusting to that. And also it was just me finding my rhythm okay. that likes to, you know, get a lot of extra work in, take a lot of extra um, reps. So that was needed. So that those three weeks gave me that time to be able to stay in the gym, lock mm-hmm. in in the gym, and know that um, these big moments um, were coming up. So that the the footwork that I put in before this bubble is going to now pay off. It's now going to show. So the shots that I'm hitting now are mm-hmm. were shots that I could always make, but it was just it was just time, as you said, mm-hmm. and just more reps, more reps, more reps, more reps, and um, also just the coaches, just you know, and the players believing in me to just take those shots. You know, some people would be like, "Yo, he's shooting from so far." Yeah, I know. And that's legit my game. Okay. You know, that's my game. So it's like it's just the coaches and the players just believing in me. They see it time and time again of me shooting those shots like regularly. It's not that I just come down and fire it up, you know. But it's just that's the amount of work and time that I put in on my craft that is just now starting to show. And I'm not even at the surface yet, so I'm waiting. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting to really hit oh, that. Oh, man. That hit, you know? <laughs> I like that. I like that. So you still got more, huh? You still got another gear to, to go up to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a couple more gears to go up to. So, you know, I hope they're ready. <laughs> I know. Hey, we gotta, hey, we cannot wait to see that. But, hey, playoff is a real thing now for you guys. I mean, before the season, people don't count you in probably for the playoff. You know? So how, do you feel like... It's easier sure. for you, like, you know, people, like, count you as an underdog? Um, Yeah, I love I love it. You know what I'm saying? I've been counted as an underdog my whole life, you know, coming up and, I, you know, even playing pro now. And even with us winning four games straight, I hear, you know, the talks of people saying um, how the games are lucky that we that we won mm. and then getting lucky and stuff like that. No, it's not luck. It's, it's just hard work. It's hard work, and it's just, like, you know, wanting it more. You actually have to want it more. You have to be a dog. And that's just what it is. Like, it's not like just luck. We didn't just step out on the floor and just say, oh, we're going to we're gonna beat Hantua tonight or we're going to beat um, Borneo tonight. No, 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 no. Like, we put in the work. We did the work. We paid attention to detail. And that was the result of us doing that. So, you know, I use all that little stuff as fuel, you know, just hearing all the little chatter, oh, Pacific, um, mm. getting lucky and... It's, it's not luck. So I don't do too much talking around that. I just leave it for myself and use it as fuel. And the team hears it as well, and they use it as fuel. And we just use it as fuel to get better every day. And, you know, so playoffs is a real thing for us now. Um, the job's not done yet, as I said before. So we have a lot more games to win and a lot more games to play. Um, and I have to be focused even more now because uh, the target is now on our back. The target is now on yeah. our back. And people didn't count us in. I still don't think people count us in. But um, I don't need an, I don't need the validation, you know, from anybody. I know that I have the validation from my team. We have the validation together. Yeah. So, you know, as long as we have that, then we're fine. Um, I don't see any other team but mine's. And that's just that's just what it is. I'm just focused on us. As long as as long as we're good. I don't, I don't see anybody else.
Yeah, that's a great mentality though to have, you know, approaching the playoff. And of course, you still have like probably like three more weeks, I would like to say, or maybe two and a half weeks more for this yeah. season. What what will that what would you like to see though from your team this last two weeks and a half? Um, I would like us just to continue to stay consistent, mm -hmm. just continue to stay consistent and continue to take little strides to get better. You know, as you're winning, um, teams like to get comfortable. And mm -hmm. that's one thing that we won't do. That's one thing that I won't allow is for us to get comfortable. Um, there's nothing with getting comfortable right now. We haven't done anything yet. So we need to continue to get better. So as you win, you still also need to find the little things that you need to fix as you're winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just beat Borneo by 30. but there was a defensive three or four defensive possessions where we missed the rotation okay, or wow. where somebody or somebody wasn't there to help that we need to fix. I'm not worried about the 30 point win. The win is the win. It's in the win column, but this defensive, this mm -hmm. three, these three different defensive possessions need to get fixed because these three, these three, these three defensive possessions could make us lose a game, two, three, four games down the line because we didn't correct it now. That's true. So, It's, you know what I'm saying? So it's still mm. little things, even with winning, still little things that you have to fix. And that's just what it is with us. We want to continue to get better. So as the, um, the next two and a half weeks approach, I just want to see us continue to stay consistent and continue to play together because that's what's going to put us over the top. No matter what, no matter fans in the stands, fans will be allowed soon, no matter what's going on, paying attention to detail will always put you over the top. And that's what I think that we need to do within the next two weeks to continue to be successful. Man, I really hope all the local players, you know, absorb all the knowledge from you because I love it how you talk about small details because sometimes it's overlooked, right? I feel like it's overlooked. Yeah, it's very, it's very overlooked, bro. And I think mm -hmm. that's the, the and for my, for me, I always say small goals and small wins. Those, those equal up to the big goals and big wins. But you have to do the small things first. The little details matter the most. Like literally, it could be this small, but that would change. That's that's the difference between a championship mm -hmm. and a not not a championship. Yeah. That one little box out that you missed in a championship game that we don't correct right now, we lose. And so that's mm -hmm. what we did from the first series and second series to now is that we corrected all those defensive mistakes. And you know we still make some th throughout the game. You know what I'm saying? But I. As I, like I said, as we're winning right now, I need us to be more consistent yeah. with every little detail. The, the, obviously, what we're doing great is going be is going to be there, but the little details need to now become great. They need to now become better. And that's when you take that leap as a team okay. to know that, you know, like, okay, he has my back. Okay, I know that I'm playing right here. I know Ron Bounds behind me right uh -huh. here to the right. I don't even have to think about it. I know he has my back. Ramdan's playing somebody at the top of the key. He's like, okay, I know Akeem has my back right here in the middle. He, he can hear me talking to him. Those are the little things that matter the most. And those are the little things that's going to um, propel your team to where they need to be. And I really hope you guys are going to make the playoff, though. I think it's going to be really fun, you know, just to see you guys because you guys, you know, we never, I, I never, I, honestly, I never think that you guys could make the playoffs, too. You know, I, I was really surprised, mm -hmm. especially with the, all your young players and also you and Ty. Uh, so I'm really hoping that you guys are going to make the playoff. But Enough talking about basketball. Let's talk about you now. How hard okay, is this, man? Okay. How hard is this, man, to take care of that, take care of that beard, bro? Man, <laughs> it's so crazy here. Like, bro, it's so uneven. My beard is out of control. It's just, it's getting out of line, bro. It's, it's just all over the place. But, you know, I love it. It's just like, yeah. it's, 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 I'm used, it's funny because I'm used to getting my hair cut. And, taking, okay. and grooming and stuff like that when I'm home, like every week and stuff like that. But for, for me here, it's not as often because not too many people have beards. Yeah. So to deal with this is a lot, you know? <laughs> so I just let it, I let it grow out. I'm, I'm young, wild and free here, man. The beard is, the beard is crazy. So I let it be what it is. And, you know, I like it. It's getting, getting crazy. When I get home though, I'm, I'm chopping it, chopping it down. <laughs> was that inspired by James Harden? No, was it just is that your thing? You like you like growing your beard? No, I just yeah, I, I always yeah, I always had a beard. Okay. I never let it grow this far because I usually always trim it and yeah. cut it and keep it. You know what I'm saying where I where I like it. But just because I'm here, 
and I know that it's not many like people that deal with beards like this. Yeah, so I, I just let it grow with it. I just grow it out. And um, when I get home, I'll just deal with it and chop it up and make it even again. So on your uh, downtime in the bubble, yeah. what do yeah. you like to do? Oh, I just chill, man. I just yeah. chill. Me and TC just chill. Uh, we might watch a movie. Literally, me and TC are always together. So uh -huh. we just, you know, I, we chill or we uh, might go down to the pool and chill. Um, we haven't hit the weight room yet, but most of the time we just like just really just chilling in the room, um, really reflecting on the game uh, um, and what we have to do next. Usually that's what it is every day. It's like, you know, we practice, we might have a practice um, throughout the day, but it's really just, you know, focusing on the next task at hand. Um, but yeah, most of the time it's just, you know, just watching a movie, man. Just watching a movie, chilling, napping, um, mm -hmm. a lot of stretching. A lot of wow. stretching while we're here. You know, some of the, the games are a lot back to back. So you want to keep your body um, up to par. So, uh, yeah, it's just really, you know, a lot of movie watching, just a lot of chilling, chatting it up. That's really it. What was the last movie you watched? Um, I think the last movie I watched was, um, it might have been Jason. It might have been Jason. Oh, uh, Okay. Jason, the uh, scary movie. I yeah. know. I was like, been Jason. Why, why are you guys watching a scary movie? <laughs> yeah, bro. I think it might have been Jason because it was on. Oh, it, 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 was, J it was Jason because it was on and it was in English. Ah, <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> and now yeah. let's talk about. And it was in English. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> so now let's talk about Indomie, man. I heard you love Indomie so much, man. What's up? <laughs> man, Indomie. Indomie is good. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta have it after every practice. <laughs> Oh my god! And that shit is that shit is bad though for you, <laughs> but it's so good. It's so good, but it's bad. Yeah, bro, it's bad. It's bad. It's, it's, it's bad for you, bro. It's bad for you, bro. So like you know, like I take my breaks from it from time to time. Yeah. Haven't had it at all here in the bubble. Um, uh, back in Pacific, we have our our house mom, Mama June. So okay. sometimes she'll make it for us after after practice and stuff like that. So you know, it's a, it's a something she makes it really good makes it she makes it just like like how a mom would back at home <laughs> oh, man. mama's mama's cooking is always the best yeah, though so. cannot lie cannot lie about that always yeah. always the best always the best bro always the best and last question i saw your picture on instagram yeah. in front of yeah. michael jordan's house can you take oh, us yeah, can you take us through that story Oh uh, yeah, so my brother, um, mm -hmm. my older brother Tristan, he actually just wanted to get away for a weekend. Um, this might have been 2018. Mm -hmm. It was like in March, if I believe. I think it was in March, and um, he just wanted to get away for a weekend with um, I have five brothers actually. Okay. So um, he actually just wanted to get away for a weekend with um, uh, us and a couple of his friends, and so we just decided to go to Chicago. Uh, we caught a Bulls game. Okay um we caught a Bulls game the Bulls game was really dope that was my first bowl game that I've been to and then uh yeah then we went to Michael we took a drive to Michael Jordan's house man and it was um it was dope it was dope it was it was crazy because we couldn't literally get inside because his the drive so you have to go through a gate and then you have to drive oh, wow. all the way into <laughs> his house we couldn't even get We couldn't even get past that gate. <laughs> We couldn't even get past that gate, bro. But it was just, it was just so dope and so legendary just to be right there. Mm -hmm. And just the amount, like, it's crazy because from, from that gate, you couldn't even see his house. So that's how much of a drive you had to do inside that gate to get wow. to his house. Wow. So, you know, it's so it, big. Was just, it was just, <laughs> just to even be, yeah, bro. It was crazy. It was just so dope to even be there. Um, you know, and that picture really, the picture really, um, just set it off. It was, it was a good time. That trip was a good one. But I see you uh, hang out with a couple of NBA players, though. You know, I see you with James Johnson, with Isaiah Thomas. You just know a lot of people, man, around the league. Yeah, bro. So, um, when I played, because I played in the NBA D League um, okay. when I first came out of school. So I played for the Houston Rockets. So I played with um, Chris Johnson, James Johnson, Isaiah Cannon, Rob Covington, Troy Daniels. Okay. Um, you know, so those are all, they're all literally were in the NBA for almost, for 
Rob is still there. James is still there. Isaiah was in the NBA for about five years. Troy was in it for about eight to nine years. So, you know, like I built good relationships with those guys. And then um, um, me and James got really cool. So he's like one of my really cool best friends right now. So like uh -huh. we hang out every summer, we work out together. He's actually in, um, in play for the Nets right now. So when I'm home, I, I go to the games um, and stuff like that. So me and James are really, really close. So, you know, sometimes we go to uh, different like tournaments and stuff together. We travel together and I meet different NBA players. So like I met Isaiah Thomas, um, me and James went to go play in his um, Zeke end in oh, Zeke Seattle. End. Mm -hmm. That's where I yeah, live now. So while I was there, I met Kelly Oubre. Oh, you live in Seattle now? Yeah, my wife works in Seattle now. So I go back and oh, forth to Seattle. Man. Yeah, I'll be in Seattle for the oh, summer. Dope, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay, dope. So yeah, so that's where we were. I met Kelly Oubre, Isaiah mm -hmm. Thomas, um, Ke um, Kevin Porter Jr., um yeah you know so i just i met so much different people um you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying just being around james and us just hanging out and chilling and working out together so yeah so it's always a good time you know always a good time when i'm with him um we have fun and stuff like that so yeah man i really hope to catch you though in the states uh this summer i don't know when the season's gonna end yeah, but hopefully I, I i could catch you you know watch you work out maybe Yeah, because I gotta meet yeah, you in person. Yeah, yeah. I cannot meet you during the bubble. <laughs> nah, no, I know. Hey, bro. Yeah. If hopefully, you know, what I'm saying we in the same area, we could definitely meet up. You know, what I'm saying, like, yeah. I, like I said, I'm in New York, so I don't know if you ever be in New York sometimes, yeah. or you travel around. You just let me know because I travel a lot in summertime too. Like, you know, just to like, you know, just enjoy my summer because I know basketball season comes really quickly. Um, you know, we only really get three months at home. So, um, but yeah, definitely, if you're around, man, we could definitely get up, grab a bite to eat. Yeah, so, you know, for sure. We work and now play a game and stuff like that. So it'll be cool, bro. For sure. I really appreciate it, man. This is a great interview. It was, a, it was really fun talking to you. Good luck, Akim. Stay healthy. Appreciate it, bro. You for know, sure. really good luck. Hopefully, you guys are going to make the playoff. And everybody, please support Akim, Alice, and also Pacific Cesa Surabaya this up yes, uh, this season i'm sorry i say i almost say upcoming season but this season <laughs> in the ivl 2022 you know they're doing big things right now so yeah guys make sure you guys follow them on instagram and show your yes, support sir. and once again akim thank you so much man for stopping by and talking to us right now and yeah really appreciate, appreciate it. you bro thanks for having thanks yes, for having sir. me yes yeah, sir and thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you guys again in the next video peace out everybody yes sir, sir.